A Denver couple has their wedding memories being held in limbo. The company they used to film their video filed for bankruptcy months after their special day. Denver 7's Gary Broad spoke to the couple who doesn't know when or if they will ever get to see it. My mom and dad both, they really love this picture. It was the happiest day in this young couple's lives. As Colin and Annalise Tabor sit at their kitchen table looking at pictures, a big piece of their memorable day is missing. Yeah, we have the pictures, but we both were banking on that video just being like such a special uh, thing for us. The Tabors hired a videographer subcontracted through Glosser Images, a North Dakota-based photography company. Then I did research on them. They'd been around for like 15 years. Um, they seemed like pretty stable and reputable. Their picture-perfect day went according to plan. Day of the wedding, May 29th, everything was great. You know, we got our photographers. Um, the videographer was there. In July, the couple received their wedding photos. What didn't come was the wedding video, which they paid more than $1,800 for. For. At that point, we were getting kind of worried. It wasn't until October 8th did they get a call from the videographer who shot their wedding. He just let us know, like, I'm so sorry, but, you know, I actually just got let go from Glass Images. They've closed their doors. Um, you know, nobody's getting a refund. The videographer told the couple he still had the raw footage, but he wouldn't be able to give it to them out of fear of a potential lawsuit. He's like, I would like to give it to you, but I don't know legal wise, since I don't have ownership of it, it belongs to Glass or something. Unable to reach the company, the Tabers now find themselves in limbo. That's the hard part is like we get that we're out 1800 right now and, and that's really unfortunate, but you know, it's just mostly like the whole memories of it, you know, like we just thought that the video would really capture that whole day. This couple is one of hundreds in a similar situation. The attorney generals in North and South Dakota have filed a class action lawsuit against the defunct company, claiming there have been more than 450 complaints in North Dakota alone. We reached out to Glosser's lawyer, Tim O'Keefe, for comment, but never heard back. The Associated Press reports O'Keefe says the photos and videos are being secured and kept safely on hard drives, but it's a logistical challenge to get them to customers saying it could take weeks. He declined to comment on potential yeah. refunds. The Tabers hope to hear from a representative from the company soon before taking legal action. I am on that video. Like, my family's on that video. Like, I paid for the video, so regardless of if it's, like, edited or not, like, I feel like it belongs to us. A spokesperson for Colorado's Attorney General, Phil Weiser, says they cannot comment on or confirm investigations or complaints yeah, like from customers within our state. I'm Gary Broad, Denver 7.